shelves and then it got put back out so it it's been a while but one of the things that um oh yeah okay one of the the, the pre-rolls because she always talks about happiness power was it was like the, the, i just said happiness power or whatever and then it would be, it would be in the pre-roll but all that was in the pre-roll was penis power <laughs> what What else we got? Nice. Is it weird to play games that you voice them? Yes. <laughs> Especially when, um, uh, like, wait a minute, play Brothers in Arms, World War II first person shooter. Okay. Um, I can't tell you the names that I called myself because I wouldn't do what I wanted me to do. <laughs> That's frustrating. Uh, yeah. I was like, come on! Uh, I love the story that Travis tells, which was the before they did the Full Metal Alchemist show, they did the Full Metal Alchemist game. And oh so yeah! <laughs> the game came out, and he got—he was so excited that he got to play as his character. He got to—I could play Boy Mustang, you know. He's freaking out, and all he remembered was that whenever he lost, a chibi version of himself would pop up and go, "It's no use! It's no use! It's no use!" <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so, it, it it's no use. That it's no use. Uh, I love, I love hearing stories like that. But yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely interesting to hi furry. Um, that is crazy. Oh, what are you eating? Uh, I don't even want to know. No. Oh, okay. He's going like this. It looked like he had like a sod patch coming out. Please get me out. Um, but yeah, like in Final Fantasy, it's a lot of fun. And, and what's really interesting is, I mean, we can we can change our voices up and make it different and make it sound like different people. But when you scream, there's no denying who it is. And I can t pretty much tell who somebody is more by their scream than by their voice. But hey, that's Yuri. Oh, that's Travis. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sounds like someone getting their twisted. <laughs> Uh, so like whenever, you know, just in, in Modern Warfare 2, I mean, it's just total calamity throughout the entire game. But when when I die, I can hear my like, god, oh, 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 Because uh, we all screamed our voices off in that game. But yeah, it's really, really weird. What else? Yes. What projects you working on at the moment that you talk about? Uh, Transformers, we finished up. War for Cybertron comes out Tuesday. Oh, really? Ooh, I'm freaking right. jazzed about that. I'm not jazzed. Um, <laughs> jet fire, but jazz is in the game. Uh, and it's, it's got an event. Peter Cullen, who played Optimus Prime, of course, is in it. Um, Fred Tattashore is Megatron, I believe. Uh, Fred Tattashore has been the Incredible Hulk for forever. Um, who else? Travis uh, is in it. Travis plays Soundwave. Um, Johnny Youngbosch plays Bumblebee. I know it's great. It's a good choice. Um, I was like, yeah, if you were Transformer, that's exactly who you'd be. Uh, uh, I can't remember who plays. Is it? I think it's Sam Regal that does Starscream. Um, it's just great. I mean, the, the game's going to be absolutely. The multiplayer and the co-op is sick. Have you played it yet? Sick. Yes, I got to play it. It's good. Great. Yes. Okay. It's a lot because I was afraid it was going to be like the Revenge of the Fallen game, which was like, what? I mean, it, it, the, the controls of it are low. Like, well, first you have to lift your leg and stand on your head and turn it sideways and make sure you count to three once with what? the button. Then you can turn it into something else. It was just the most convoluted button scheme layout uh, ever. They really simplified it for this. The weapons are incredible. Um, the, the multiplayer is just stupid. Stupid good. Um, what else are we working on that we can talk about? Uh, I don't think I can talk about anything. Video games or, or, or period. Okay, uh, Anything. we're on season two of Generator X. Uh, we're almost finished with season two, I believe. The Avengers, um, the new Marvel show, is coming out in the fall on Disney XD. Is it better than that? Should be Marvel. Thank you. No, 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 no. This is Earth's Mightiest Heroes, or whatever, and it's got an amazing cast. Um, <laughs> it just it has it hadn't found a home because of the whole Disney Marvel thing. We weren't sure if they were going to put it on Cartoon Network, if they were going to put it on Disney, and it ended up going to Disney XD, which is really cool for us. Um, so that should be coming out in the fall. Uh, there's, there's a couple of games yeah, we're working
working on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops right now, uh, which is going to be out in the fall. <laughs> I can't believe they're cranking it out that fast. Um, what else are we doing? Uh, boo, 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 boo. I just never really know when stuff gets released until it's out. <laughs> There's a bunch of games that I'm not thinking about. 99 Nights is about to come out. Arcania. Uh, if you guys are fans of the Gothic franchise, uh, that's going to be out in the fall. They just did a great uh, uh, kind of sneak peek at E3 with that. That'll be good. Oh, this is just a request from a friend who couldn't make it. Um, would you guys? Say something like a phrase with a British accent. A British accent? Yeah, both of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Like Negima, like I had to be coached on every in two. I had to be coached on like every little thing, like because it's very hard for me. It's a placement issue. I, here's what's funny about Negima. I thought Negima was a serious show. <laughs> <laughs> All of my scenes, I played Nagi. I played Negi's dad, Negi Nagi. Um, and, and I'm very serious the entire time. So I thought that it was like this really cool, deep, dark show. And then I realized, oh no, it's it's about a little boy who every girl wants to break. <laughs> But my favorite line in that show, it, it has a British accent. The first time I got to do a British accent in anime. Uh, are you ready? Uh, I'm going to say a little loud because it is the noise. That. It's kind of loud. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, whoa. Okay, okay now I am. <laughs> are you ready? Okay, this, yeah. is, uh, uh, this is Nagi, Negi's dad, and Negama. Try okay. to say that ten times fast. Uh. Take this and may your magic grow strong. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Get on ya! Ow, bollocks! That's what she says all the time. Who else has their hand up? <laughs> What's your favorite line that is uh, action fast? Oh man, that's a popular question because there's a lot of great lines. Um, I still love, put a sausage in your mouth. Um, that was love great. That show. There's, uh, I think this one was aired, but it was, um, it was just a teenage girl at a hot tub. What could go wrong? That was a funny one. Um, the whole, the whole woodpecker, um, yeah, which was played by Mike Center Nicholas. Um, that whole episode was fantastic. They had to try man on man to be able to conquer the. Oh my god. Uh, run like the little bastard you are. Um, it's always good. I wanted you to be my little bastard. Uh, and I get to play, I can't remember the guy's name, but there are these two cops that move in next door to Shin. And their cover is that they're gay lovers. Um, that is probably one of the raunchiest episodes I've ever done. That's where the term strawberry shortcake was used. It got blinked out by Cartoon Network. So and kudos to Cartoon Network to be able to pick that up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's terms that Jared and Zach Bolton have come up with as far as like the donkey punch and stuff like that. There's terms that they have come up with that have ended up on Urban Dictionary because they've just created them. Donkey punch. Final Fantasy 13, who was your least favorite character? There's like, for Snow, a lot of people said that they didn't like him, but personally I thought he was like a good character. Yeah. No, there's a lot. Of, you know, what's really weird is, it depends on who you ask. I've heard a lot of people say that they hated Hope. I think Hope was a brilliant character. <laughs> and I think that Vincent did an I like amazing him. job. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people say that they hated uh, uh, Neil. I am. I heard someone say on a on a blog that said that's the worst Australian accent they've ever heard. And that's what I thought it was an Australian. See, and she's Australian too, I heard. Well, I just love her it's, speaking of, what's interesting though is that the person that <laughs> So it's pretty she authentic. Is. Your your accent, your Australian accent is terrible. That was yeah. pretty good. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> they're from Britain. Yeah, they're, 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 they're